Hey guys, Diptesh here back with another video. So in this video, we will do a very interesting comparison between two very similar laptops that come in a very similar price bracket and both come from the same brand that is HP. So today we will compare the HP Pavilion Gaming with the HP Umen 15. So the Pavilion is the, you know, budget version, budget category of HP gaming laptops whereas the HP Omen is the premium category of HP laptops. But ironically, both the laptops come very close in the same price bracket of 70 to 76,000, 75,000. So let's compare the two and see which one is the right choice for you. And before beginning the video, I want to tell you both the laptops are really great in their own ways in this price bracket. So if you go with either of them, you'll have no problem. It's just that there is some slight differences between the two, which is important for you to know so that you can make the correct decision. All right. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So first of all, let's talk what is similar between the two. So the HP Pavilion currently is unavailable, but it was actually launched at a price of 70,999 rupees during the Amazon Prime Day sales. And the HP Omen 15 is always 76,000 rupees. As you can see, it's still available on Flipkart. You can purchase it right now. So let's talk what is similar between the two. So in between the two, both the laptops come with the Ryzen 5 4600H, which is a six core, 12 thread processor, really good for both gaming as well as productivity. So if you want any of this laptop for, you know, doing um, 3D modeling, you want to do uh, editing or you want to do any kind of CPU intensive work like simulation, emulation and stuff like that, both the laptops will be really good for it. The Ryzen 5 4600H is much faster than the Intel Core i5 10300H and it is also faster than the Intel Core i7 10750H when it comes to CPU performance, especially multi-threading performance. So both the laptops are great for both content creation, productivity and gaming. Okay. The other thing that is similar between the two is the graphics card. So both the laptops come with the GTX 1650 Ti 4GB GDDR6 graphics. Now, the 1650 Ti is good enough for, you know, AAA gaming at medium settings at 1080p to get 60 FPS and it will give you 60 FPS at medium settings even after, you know, one and a half years. I am predicting. So if you want to do, you know, mid-range gaming, uh, this laptop is fine for you. Now, the last thing that is similar between the two, exactly similar between the two is the battery uh, is the battery capacity. So both the HP Omen Ryzen 5, the base variant of HP Omen and the mid-range variant of the HP Pavilion both come with, uh, you know, the same 52.9 watt hour battery. So the battery capacity is identical between the two. So the three things which are exactly similar between the two is the CPU, the GPU and the battery capacity. Now let's talk what is different between the two. So first big difference between the two is that the HP Pavilion, ironically, the cheaper laptop comes with a 144 Hz 15.6 inch IPS panel. But the HP Omen comes with a 15.6 inch 60 Hz IPS panel. Both the laptops have the exactly same color gamut coverage of 45% NTSC. So the only difference between the two laptops is the refresh rate. So in terms of refresh rate, I do not know the response times of the HP Pavilion display that the HP Pavilion is using the 144Hz display. But even if that display, you know, it, it is around less than 20, 10 millisecond of response time, the HP Pavilion will be really good for playing eSports titles like Valorant or CSGO or you know any game that can give high FPS with the 1650 Ti. So for eSports title, the HP Pavilion will be really good because the display is 144 Hz. Okay, now one more thing is that the HP Omen does have the best cooling solution in the business. In terms of Ryzen laptops or any other laptop, the HP Omen 15 has great cooling. It has technically superior cooling design, but the HP Pavilion is also very good in terms of thermals. As I showed you in my previous video where I did a real user review of the HP Pavilion showing the reviews of my subscribers and their testing, the HP Pavilion does not heat up all that much. In terms of gaming, the HP Pavilion and the HP Omen are very similar in terms of thermals. Uh, the HP Pavilion in the shadow of the Tomb Raider only went up to 84 degrees centigrade in the CPU and only 70 lit and only little more than 70 degree in the GPU. So that's great for gaming. So uh, you do not have to worry about thermals in either the HP Pavilion or the HP Omen. Both have great thermals. Both the Ryzen 5 4600 h and the GTX 1650 Ti will run at full speed, no throttling, no worries. 
Now, in terms of RAM, the HP Pavilion and the HP Omen both come with 8GB single channel DDR4 3200MHz RAM. Now, HP says that the HP Omen only goes up to 16GB of RAM as expansion, which is a total lie. I have verified myself, I have gone into the crucial website where they list the maximum supported RAM up to 64 GB. They have also provided 32 GB kits of 16 GB each and they have also provided single 32 GB RAM sticks. So the HP Omen does support up to 32 GB or 64 GB of expansion. Don't be, don't believe HP what they say. AMD has said that all their Ryzen 4000 series, uh, you know, CPUs will support up to 64 GB of maximum RAM support. But, you know, HP says that it, it doesn't, it doesn't support more than 16 GB, that's a lie, don't believe it. People are actually using, you know, 8 plus 16 GB, 24 gigabyte configuration. People are also using 16 plus 16 or 32 plus 32. So don't worry about RAM expansion. The HP Omen does support more than 16 GB of RAM expansion. And I believe the HP Pavilion will also support more than 16 GB of RAM expansion. So you don't have to worry about that. And yeah, one more thing that I recommend is you should have dual channel memory with Ryzen because Ryzen loves dual channel memory. Putting dual channel memory into Ryzen will improve the gaming performance by a lot. It will improve by 15 to 25%. So I recommend you to upgrade to dual channel memory as soon as possible with Ryzen. The other thing that is different between the two is the keyboard layout. So the keyboard layout in the HP Pavilion is a full-sized keyboard, but it has the small cursor control keys, which I don't like that much. But the HP Omen does not have a numpad, but it has the full size cursor control keys. Now you choose what you like, it depends upon you totally. In terms of build quality and looks, uh, basically the Omen is also made of plastic, the HP Pavilion is also made of plastic, but the Omen's keyboard deck is actually made of uh, metal. I think it's some sort of alloy. So uh, the HP Omen has the better, you know, uh, keyboard deck, it feels more solid. Uh, the HP Omen 15 also has uh, the better trackpad so so I'm not sure whether the trackpad in the HP pavilion comes with the Windows precision drivers however the HP Omen does come with Windows precision drivers which makes the tracking much better one more difference is that the HP pavilion is actually less than 2 kilograms it's 1.98 kilograms whereas the HP Omen 15 weighs more due to the keyboard deck made of metal it weighs more at 2.37 kilograms so the other big difference between the two might be in battery life because both the laptops have the same 52 watt hour battery but the HP Pavilion has a 144 hertz display whereas the HP Omen has the 60 hertz display so if you run both the displays at their native re refresh rate that is 60 hertz for the Omen and 144 hertz for the Pavilion the Omen will give you better battery life and there is another reason why the HP Omen will give you better battery life that's because it has no hard drive it does not have a spinning hard drive inside it so a spinning hard drive you know takes more power and generates more heat which is present inside the hp pavilion okay talking about the hard drive this is another big difference between the two so the hp omen comes with two m.2 slots both the slots are capable of using nvme ssds whereas the hp pavilion comes with one sata 3 uh, 2.5 inch storage bay and one m.2 ssd slot which supports nvme so in the hp omen you can use two nvme ssds that's the only option there is no option for a 2.5 inch storage whereas in the hp pavilion you can have one m.2 nvme ssd and you can also have a 2.5 inch ssd or a hard drive so if you're looking for a laptop that can have much larger storage for mass media at a cheaper price then you can choose the HP pavilion because it provides the option for an HD so that depends upon your preference and your budget the last difference between the HP Omen and the HP pavilion is in terms of the port selection so the HP Omen in terms of port selection is way better the HP Omen comes with three USB 3.0 type A ports it has one USB type C port which also supports a display port 1.4 the HP Omen also has another mini display port as well as HDMI 2.0. So the HP Omen has three display out options. That's a lot of displays that you can use with the HP Omen at the same time. So you can use basically three display outs. And the HP Omen also has a full sized SD card slot. Whereas the HP Pavilion, it only comes with one USB 2.0 Type-A and it comes with one USB Type-C 3.0. It comes with one USB Type-A 3.0. So only, so in terms of Type-A ports, the HP Pavilion gives you two, one USB 3 and one USB 2. 
and the HP Pavilion also comes with full size HDMI 2.0 port and it also has a full size SD card slot. So the HP Omen in terms of ports has better, a lot better options. Or I guess at the end of the day, both the laptops are great at their own price tag. It's up to you to decide whether you want cheap storage for the HP Pavilion or you want the better build quality of the HP Omen. You want the 144 hz display of the HP Pavilion or you want better port selection of the HP Omen. It's up to you. Both laptops are great at their own price tag. Wait for the sales. Let the price drop. You can have some really good deals. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Join the Discord server. The link will be down below. Already there is 200 plus members in the Discord server. You can join there, discuss, have fun, talk with other people. And yeah, like, share, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.